Today we're joined by Constantine Krog, a second year junior captain of the men's tennis team. Um, already in your second year as a captain, which is, as a junior, that's pretty impressive. Um, I am trying not to dwell too much on last year uh, with the student athletes as we're talking about their seasons moving ahead. But I think for the spring sports, uh, I really have to talk about how much of a season you guys had during the 2019-20 school year. You played 10 matches, you were seven and three. It was a very young team. You had three first years at the top of the lineup. Um, so I'd be remiss to not at least ask you some about it, but did you guys end up reaching the potential that you thought you would last year? Um, and you know what, what do you think the season could have looked like if it had played out? I think we, we got off to a very good start, obviously, with a 73 record. Um, our last match, match uh, was kind of a disappointment. Uh, we went down to Adelphi. We thought we played well. Uh, we did have some unfortunate injuries problems, which probably didn't help us much. But um, we went down there and we felt like we were finally building a really strong team uh, that could be able to compete for the championship in a few years, uh, which is our main goal. And then... It was unfortunate that the season ended so quick. We were ready to, you know, it felt like, as I mentioned earlier, we got off to a good start, training was well, we're doing great lifts, and everyone was really engaged. And then suddenly it was all taken away within a matter of a few weeks, which was obviously sad. But um, also the fact that, uh, you know, people got home during lockdowns as well, and we weren't able to, like, go to the gym. Uh, a lot of... Um, training on your own in the home where you might not have like the equipment as you want to and not being able to play tennis as well for at least for me for a few months was was tough but um it's it's good to be back where practice are going well and we're back in lifts as well so we're, we're very positive for the season and did you go back to norway when yeah so i went back to norway in march uh, i went remote for the first semester um due to uh, various uh, different things, but um, obviously COVID being one of them. And then, um, uh, yeah, got back in January, uh, did my two-week quarantine, everything went well, and now we're back in business and ready to have a good season for sure. I know you sort of have a small-ish team, but even during this year, um, how do you get the sense that the guys know each other, that they've had a chance to really gel? Yeah, I mean, of course, we, we can't meet each other as much as we, we used to be. We're, we're a team that enjoys spending a lot of time together off the court as well, uh, which is hard now. And um, But I still feel like, you know, we, we know most of the players. We're missing one freshman uh, who's remote this year, um, which is very understandable. And then we have a few other guys injured, uh, one being me and another guy, Mike Rosen, who's currently remote as well. So the, te the team is a little smaller than expected, um, but uh, still high intensity and in training. Uh, people are mo motivated and we try to try to make the most of it for sure. So I guess looking at the foundation that you had in place last year and sort of, I know it's not exactly the same team coming back because obviously mm -hmm. Mike Key in singles and doubles, Matt Mosier, one of your senior captains, well, your only senior, but a captain last year, was so key, especially in doubles. Do you still look at what you have though and think, boy, this, this is exciting. We have a lot of young guys. You don't have any seniors on the team this year. You know, are you, are you still looking forward to what you have coming up in the next, uh, I guess, couple of months, month and a half or so? Yes, absolutely. I mean, you look at this team and you look at the individual players compared to last year. Uh, you can see how they have improved a lot. Um, you also see a bunch of potential for the future years, but especially, I feel like we're all like right now, all we want to do is play matches. We want to go out hard and we're work, working and working out six days a week. Um, and uh, we're all staying really positive. And I think, I think we can do, do some good stuff this year. Uh, so I'm really excited. By the time this comes out, your schedule will also be out in the world. So uh, this we're, we're talking on uh, March 3rd, this will come out, uh, the schedule will come out tomorrow. So you'll see that. Mm -hmm. um, is that something that you guys, 
I mean, I know, you know, that we're all planning for a season, but for you guys, is it sort of theoretical until you see that schedule and you can say, oh, we're playing on this date and this is who we're playing on this date and that sort of thing? Yes, absolutely. I mean, um, we'll be very excited to like finally have the match schedule and be able to look forward to matches, know exactly how many days we have left until the next match to kind of um, adapt training and lifts for, for those matches to have the best preparation as possible. Um, but we're really excited to be back. Um, obviously, we missed spring sports and it would have been very tough to, to lose two seasons in a row. So I'm, I'm very happy that they they were able to to make it happen. And I'm excited to see what the schedule looks like. So I want to ask you a little about you, if that's OK, because, you know, we've covered of course. the team, but I am I correct that you came here originally to ski and to play tennis? Yeah, so I came, uh, I was recruited as a skier uh, and um, during the summer we were filling out all these forms about housing, what activities do you like. I got an email from Coach Hamill um, asking me if I'm interested in playing tennis. Um, so my first thing was reaching out to the ski coach and obviously asking if, if he would be fine with it. And um, so he, he said that it was fine. Uh, we had seasons in different uh, different. Uh, seasons of the year. So I tried out uh, in the fall uh, and love the team. I met Matt, who's has been a huge comp- uh, contributor to this team, of course. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I just enjoyed, you know, playing playing those singles matches and doubles matches for competing as a team. Uh, and then after my first year, I decided that um, the travel time to practice with skiing was just a lot. And I, I really kind of thought about like, as a kid, I used to play a lot of tennis and that was my main my main thing. And I kind of felt like I want to do that again. And uh, I just enjoyed spending time with the team and playing tennis. So yeah, it ended up being somewhat of an easy choice, even though not skiing anymore is still tough, but I, I get to go, go to the hills and still free ski now and then. Uh, here and there so that's fun we're close enough that you can still do that yeah it's, that's interesting that i mean those are so individually oriented sports that uh you know at least on the college level they're also sort of team sports um mm-hmm. what was it like for you i guess joining the tennis team uh after you know sort of being i guess skiing sort of independently uh growing up well, I mean, the both very individual, but uh, as you said, you're competing in, uh, as a team uh, in tennis. It's I, I'm a big fan of doubles. I think it's really cool to be able to to play with another player and compete against two other players. So you kind of get that a little bit more of a like team feeling uh, in tennis, I would say, um, compared to skiing. But um, I guess I, I brought a lot of good stuff from uh, from skiing to tennis. You know. Skiing is very focused around details and being able to bring those things into tennis and uh, really be detail oriented when it comes to training lifts, the good and right exercises, and especially restitution. I feel like it's been a, a big, um, an important thing to me uh, or for me to bring to bring from skiing into tennis. Yeah. So, as a captain, um, what do you? I mean, obviously, okay, you're a captain of the team. You're supposed to be a leader, but. What, what kind of captain are you? Are you a you know, raw, raw kind of guy pumping guys up? Are you, like you mentioned, the details, you good with uh, organizing things? How, how do you see yourself as a captain? I would say it kind of depends a little on the day and the intensity of the players. Uh, usually I'm a, I would say a little bit of a more nicer captain. Uh, I'm not a big fan of screaming at them and telling them that something is bad, but when it gets to a certain point and I feel like this is not not good enough for what we want. You know, we want to be a, a champion contender. And um, yeah, when it comes to that point, I can be I can be a little rough, I feel like. But um, it is difficult at times, you know, I'm, I'm good friends with all the players on the team as well. And sometimes it's hard to like separate being a captain and being a good friend. Um, but uh, there's definitely there's definitely days where I might not be their favorite person on the team, but that's, that's just, a, I guess, a part of the, part of a job being a captain. So, yeah. Yeah. 
it's it's a great title to have, but you're right, it comes with responsibility. Absolutely. Well, we're looking forward to you guys finally getting back, uh, back out there, whether, whether indoors or outside, but uh, finally playing a match again this spring. Yeah, it's going to be great fun. It's going to be great competing again. We're, we're really excited for a good season.